Let us explore few tools in Rhino 7. Mesh tools. Let us create a plane. Make sure you type 30 by 9 and select the center at 0, 0. Make it 180 by 80 inches. Let's see what this is. Type what? And hit enter. You will find out a lot of information and this is a mesh. Under new in Rhino 7, open up the sub D toolbar and select convert to a sub D object. Make sure creases are equal to yes and corners equal to yes. And now you can select all the sub Ds in the model. You notice we have that. This is really important. Reflect along the X axis. And we're going to work on the left side. So now we can select soft transform and make it around 24 inches. That's the magnitude. Then we can select the filter to only select faces. And let us pick these few faces and push them up. Notice the reflect that we did before. Whatever you do on the left side is going to happen on the right side. Beautiful. Let's do it again, but this time set the soft to maybe 12 inches. Select two or three, move them up, and select the one in the middle and move it just a little bit to get a beautiful curve. Now that we have that shape, let us set the filters to none. I don't want filters. Once you have that, let's go back and set the radius to 32 and we're going to select the edge, one edge, the one in the middle, and push, push to the front that edge. We can insert, insert an edge and make sure both sides are on. Select filters equal to faces and select only two. Let us rotate them just a little bit and extrude, extrude them back and look at the shape that you get. Beautiful. Let me undo that, go back to soft transform and set it to only 5 inches. This time we're going to select faces 1, 2 and 3 and do the same. Push them back and look at the shape that you get. Next, select the edge 
and rotate it just a little bit and select the edge in the middle and move it back. And let's say this is the front of my prototype. Let us continue. Let us select Soft Transform and make sure you have it with 15 inches. And we're gonna use, we're gonna use faces. We're gonna select faces, but we're gonna use the brush. So anything that the brush touches is going to be selected as long as they are faces. There you go. Move them up. Rotate them just a little bit. Right there. And let's do it again. One more time. Select with the soft transform set to 10 inches and use one more time the brush and we're gonna push we're gonna push down all those but make sure you use a strut Rotate them just a little bit, and there we have the seat. Finally, finally, I'm going to select only one face on the back, move it to the left, and maybe move it down. Almost there. Almost. Finally, I would like to show you when you open up the filters, there are the filters, and you select filters set to none, all the fil filters get on. So if you try to select, if you try to select one face, you are selecting the whole object. You might, you might turn on sub objects and that will allow you to select only one face. But I think I prefer to use filters set to faces and notice that it turns on only to surfaces or faces. And we're going to delete, we're going to delete this face and pay attention to this now I'm switching to filters equal to edges double click and that will select the whole loop and now name that selection all four edges name them with whatever name you want I'm going to select edges and now I have those four edges over here. I can select them whenever I want. I'm going to rotate. As soon as I rotate, notice that I lost the selection. If I go back to edges, I get that selection back. Let me move it to the left, select edges, and scale them in the Z direction. And that ends my little prototype. I hope you can follow this very simple exercise and enjoy using the new sub D possibilities in Rhino 7.